A very good evening and welcome to Colour Me Happy. My name is Ben Mosby. Thank you for joining us. It's the final show. I mean, not the final show ever, but the final show of our Colour Me Happy anniversary. Yeah, uh, it's the fourth anniversary of Colour Me Happy. Um, four years of a, what a fantastic show. Um, and this is it, this is the final wrap up show. The wrap up of the event, where we've been giving you the opportunity to get yourself a free gift. Final live show to get that free gift, right? So you spend 10 pounds, $10, and you will get yourself uh, the gift just here, which Vernon is showing you. Good work, Vernon. Um, Aquamarker, Illustrator, Classic, all yours for free when you spend a tenner. That's done by midnight tonight. We've got our three for two um, as well across Spectrum Noir goodies. Some of the highlights there, the ink daubers, uh, blending solution, which we're going to be using on the show as well, and plenty more. But that all ends at midnight tonight, plus the stamp sale that was up to 75% off, midnight tonight, done. So the, the, the tip really is, is to shop during this show, because chances are, is when we finish here, you'll probably go away and start doing other stuff. Maybe you're going off to work, or if you're here in the uh, UK, you'll be getting the tea ready, getting ready to watch another stuff, and then you'll forget, and you go, ah, when you come back tomorrow, because you'll have forgotten, then you'll be kicking yourself. So if there's been something that you want to get over the course of the last four days, get it in this show, and then we're all happy. Also during this show, we need your questions. We need your requests. Uh, we are actually gonna kick off this show with a few requests that you asked uh, for during the last show. But if there's anything that you wanna see from any of the products that we brought you over the last four days, please ask. And if there's any questions, Sheena and I fancy a bit of a sit down. And I know we don't normally do Essentials Corner on a Thursday, but Sheena is here and it is now kind of, it's like written in the contract now when Sheena's here, it's like must do Essentials Corner. It doesn't have to be on a Wednesday, it can be on a Monday, or Thursday, whenever. Um, so we, we're kind of contractually obliged to do it. Uh, so it would be a bit awkward if we didn't. So if you can fire in some questions for us and then we can answer those in Essentials Corner and questions about anything on the show, any uh, hints and tips that you need, any problems you need solved. Maybe you want to ask Sheena about a holiday, whatever it might be. We're quite happy to, to chat around that. So please get those in and hopefully we'll compile them for later in the show. And uh, I think that's all my business taken care of. So let's say hello to the lady who has been wowing you with her crafty wizardry over the course of the day so far. It is the marvellous Sheena Douglas. How was your two hour break? Was it good? It was good, yes. Back to the van. Back to the van. Yeah. Soup in a van, you've got to do it. Soup well, in a camping. van? You've got to have Not soup. soup in a can? Not soup in a can, soup in a van. Yeah, mm. yeah, it was lovely. It was lovely. Yeah, very nice. What uh, what sort what sort of soup was it? It was quite posh soup. It was um, Covent Garden and, and it was oh. actually uh, uh, yeah. wild mushroom soup. Yeah. Oh. Is it still in the carton? The it was in carton, carton. Yeah. It's a bit thicker, isn't it? Yes, it was lovely. I did mm. not forage for the mushrooms. It no. was in a carton. Ah, yeah. Well, well. Um, yeah. But I'm glad we're all refreshed and revivified and ready to go. And um, you have got some demos ready to go, some requests we're going to do first. Yes, right? we've got them lined up because yeah. um, we, earlier we did, we did say that was requests come in and then, and then the tangents happened and, you know, we did. Um, but we have got things ready. We've been, we, we have requests uh, for the, um, the wax-based pencil blending yes. with the blending solution already. Mm -hmm. It's on the desk. It'll happen. If it's in front of me, I can't forget it. And we've got the duetting pads. Mm -hmm. I've got to say, it's, I haven't used them yet because things happen with Crafts Companion. New stuff comes out all the time. And, you know, it's Sheena stuff, obviously, I know about because thought is me. Sheena. So, <laughs> but the Crafts Companion stuff, not so much. <laughs> you know, they, 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 they are, they, things happen. So I, I'm, we're going to try them. So I think that's a good thing because yeah. I'm going I'm to be discovering with you guys. Mm. And uh, we can discover together. I'm really going to look forward to that, actually. Yeah, just seeing you have a play and see, uh, see, see where we go with that. Um, let's say a few hellos and we'll get on into it. Superstar Susie on the socials. Um, and already in is Gaz, who says a massive hello to our Sheena, who blows our minds. <laughs> our Ben, that's me, that is. And the fantastic CTV crew again. That's Nicola and Jamie, that is. Hello. And Tracy or Jake? Jake and Jake. Hi, Jake. Yo, eat one. It is. Yeah. Um, that, was, that was really good, actually. I'm really impressed. What? That yo, eat one. Oh, th throw my voice. Oh, that was really good. Yeah. Yo, uh, yeah. yo, eat one. Got all the gear. Yeah. Yo, eat. Got all the gear. Oh. Why are you like? 
the jury for Holocaust. Oh. The, the, the jury for Holocaust. The jury for Holocaust, like, oi, oi, I'm gonna know the tune, like. <sighs> Uh, uh, Lisa P's in from Bonnie Lake, Washington. Uh, Lois Gaffer says good afternoon, everyone from Ohio. Um, Vanessa Fuentes says good morning, everyone from Florida. Hi to Trish Stell from uh, Reno. Lovely sunny day there. Uh, hi to Crafty Angie from California. Crafty Not Graphing by Hillary says hey, everyone from Hillary and Holly. It's raining again. Mm. Um, and Lynn Morton, who says, good evening, Sheena, Ben, CTV community, and all the CTV team from Newcastle. Where are you, like? Um, right. Duet ink pads, color Ooh. blooms. So, I'll show you the color. There is no board. I haven't got the board. Um, we can kind of show you on, the, um, on the, the, the actual pads themselves. So these are like the next in the line of the Duet ink pads. And they are incredible because by adding water to the original color that you get when you lay this down, another color will miraculously appear. It's like um, Banana Man, isn't it? When yeah. Eric eats a banana. It miraculously. Turns into Banana Man. Do you remember that? Ba -ba -ba. I, I didn't watch it that much, but I do remember I am aware of Banana Man, but I yeah. did not watch it. No, okay. Um, so, yes, this colour here, you will get this colour just here. Um, and, I, and I always describe it as, the way I see, I've seen it when the guys have kind of laid it down, it always, almost looks like a haze that, um, that appears once you add the water. Like a but purple we'll, haze. Purple haze! <laughs> Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. Um, once again, these are super juicy, uh, you know, these are going to last you a long time, ergonomically designed to fit in your palm nice and easily. Um, going to take to your paper, if you want to swipe them down straight away you can, and also you've got your teardrop design on these too, which means you can get into those more um, harder to reach areas. But your designs, or your designs, your colours you're going to get, uh, this one your doggo will love, Willow River. Oh, Willow River. Dusk Orchid. There's your two colours. Pumpkin Patch. Yep, that's cute. Pomegranate. Summer bouquet. <laughs> nice. Is this hyacinth bouquet? <laughs> bouquet in the residence. I'm, I'm singing like summer breeze, you see. Hey? I'm singing summer breeze summer in Summer breeze. It makes me feel fat. Bowing like the jasmine in my mind. Come on. Shawl. Shawl. Nebula. Ooh. Far Rose out. cloud. Pink grapefruit. An mm. anemone. Ba 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 da da. An anemone. Ba ba da da. An anemone. <laughs> and finally, hellebore. Oh, hello. 72 pounds, 88 bucks. I do believe if you want to just um, try these out, you can go individually on them, but um, the best value for money, of course, is to go for the 12-piece collection. I'm super excited here because you're going to play for the first time. I'm going to have a try to see what they do. All right. Right. Let's Shall go. we play? Let's go. All right. Well, I'm thinking my go-to is going to be the watercolour card. Okay. And my go-to blenders are going to be the little round blenders like this. And let's have a look at um, Hellebore, right on the top there. Hellebore. Oh, Hellebore. See what that does. Hellebore. Hellebore. Hello. And so let's see what they blend like without the aid of, <coughs> excuse me, any glycerin. Okay. So we're getting not too bad at all. They blend pretty well without the glycerin. Mm -hmm. And very dark. Let's see if we take some out of there. Ooh, juicy. Look at all that ink. Mm. Wow, they're loaded. You can see the other colour already coming out there, can't you? Or is that my eyes? Yeah, yeah. on the glass mat. Yeah, look at that. Um, now, I haven't got my little applicator glycerin here. I've got this one here, but whoop, we'll just put a pop a bit there, like that. And let me just pop a little bit on my um, blending tool there and see what difference that makes. So straight away, a um, little bit of glycerin on there is going to allow me to blend that a little bit further and it'll make it stretch a little bit more, I think. Possibly a little bit more. Actually, I don't know if it is making it. Um, let's have a look, see what we've got. It's a bit ambiguous, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You know what? I'm like, um, you're getting no in a monologue here. You're getting my thoughts spoken. Apparently, Maria said, Maria says, I basically... 
um, I have no inner monologue. No. I even make noises. Mm. I have no, like, um, I'm not a woman of mystery and intrigue. Everything's out there. Um, so, yes, it does go a bit paler, but it does go a bit patchier. So what I would say is I don't think glycerin's the best with these ones. It's mm. one of those... It, it doesn't seem no. to work brilliantly with first in pads i've tried can you see how it's gone a little bit patchy there yeah but i'm glad you, you tried the glycerin so at least we now know yeah well this is why i thought um by seeing me you know you don't always see someone uh do a show where you see them trying something out and mm. that's exactly what i would be doing so but it doesn't mean that you know we can't retrieve this and make it look okay so but that's what i would do so yeah First ink pad I've ever tried that I would say um, the glycerin hasn't necessarily um, worked brilliantly. It must be the composition of the two, you know, the, the reaction yeah. with the ink kind of thing. So I think I would probably say you're going to have to just go solo with the ink pad okay. and just take a little bit longer to blend. Mm. So what I'm doing is I'm just going over and having said that as well is that they do seem to blend quite well yeah they don't they don't take too long to blend and i can get that blended out to quite a um you know a faded kind of ombre effect mm. I'm, I'm not taking too long to try and achieve that yeah. because i want to get some more colors on here and i'm thinking that we can build that up as we go yeah. so that's the first one that's hella ball let's okay. pop that down let's try uh what's this one uh pink grapefruit Oh, that's bright, isn't yeah. it? Wow, I don't know what I'm what I'm getting here. I'm just literally opening containers and seeing what's going to happen. So you're just going to mix it all up and then give it a spritz in a minute. That's exactly what, what I'm going to do, Ben. Oh, I'm so gonna... you're going to get like you know, so it's like one ink pad, two colours. You're yeah. going to potentially get well, if you've got two ink pads, like four colours appearing. Exactly. I'm hoping because yeah. I'm hoping when we add water, we'll get maybe get like a halo effect. Yeah. That's what. I don't know. Well, this is what I like to see, the experimentation of it yeah. all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's one way to find out, isn't it? Yeah. Do it, see what happens. So let's pop that one on there. We'll try another one in a sec. and we'll pop that one out there. But they do build up pretty quickly. And I think they probably need a good build up of colour to see that separation happen. That's my thinking on this. So we've got that one there now, which is quite... Uh, they're quite flat as well, the colours. Um, I mean, like, they, they, they're flat. They're not a sheen to them. Yeah. Um, they're, what's this one? Uh, Dusk mm. Orchid. Dusk Orchid. Ooh, purple. Ooh. Pretty. This is going to be six potential colours. Wow. Actually, this no, it would be more feels... than that, won't it? Because it's... Sorry? It would be more than six potential colours because all of the different colours mixing with all of the different colours. Yeah, they're blending over. One yeah. colour's blending over the other as well. Oh, it's like the maths again, the maths, oh, my head's, my brain's hurting again. Yeah. Oh. Especially this time on a Friday, fr <laughs> I don't know what day it is. This time on a Friday night, it's not even Friday, it's Thursday. Yeah, um, really, yeah, we, we, we're good, we know exactly where we are, Yeah, ben. who are we, what are we doing? Yeah. What day is it? What yeah. channel is this? Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> we know exactly where we are here in London of a Saturday evening. <laughs> <laughs> Live from London. <laughs> so this one, I don't know if this one's been more loved than the other one. This one's a bit drier, so it's taking a little bit more blending. Can you see? Yeah. Uh, it's taking a little bit longer to blend. So I'm just trying to get this one blended into that one. This is a warmer colour, so I want to go a little bit warmer with that one. So, well, let's see if there's a warmer tone there. But that's a really pretty colour, this one here. Um, right. Literally no idea what I'm picking up here. We've done Hellebore Stargazer. Yeah, purpley again. Uh, let's change this. I don't think we'll be fine with that one. I mean, so, whatever way, it's a, it's a lovely first lay down of colour that you've got there. It's a lovely blended background isn't it pretty it just takes a little bit of time you know to get yeah. that coverage once you get that lay down of the first layer you're usually okay but i need a kind of a transition color here to meet that one it needs to be a little bit warmer let's go with a pumpkin patch Woo, that is definitely warmer oh wow that is Woo, 
It's Scorchio, that one. Scorchio. I can feel the heat off that one. Yeah, definitely warmer. So let's pop that one on there. Now, the thing is where you have yellow and you've got purple next to it, yeah, you could get a little bit of a brownie colour or a dirty colour, kind of a mud colour where it joins, but that's OK. We're going to have an orangey colour here where these two meet. But we can live with that. We'll, we'll manage. We'll, we'll see what we get. I'm excited for the spray. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking two things we could, because we've got stencils on the show as well, haven't oh, we? Oh, yes, 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 so, stencils. Yeah. Come on. Let's get some stencils on there. Yeah, let's get those garden visitor stencils into the mix. And we can get the dots going, because that'll look quite abstract and quite cool, I think. Mm. And see what happens there, see what we get. All right. We have... I mean, I like that. Cool colours going on, yeah, Very don't we? Very cosmosy. Yeah, um, definitely juicy, good coverage going on. I'm yeah. happy with that. I'm liking that. Um, no complaints there. No. Okay. Go to right. the top of the class. First, first test. Happy with that. Let me yep. get a cloth and wipe the background. Okay. And then I'll have to seek out the stencils, which are under the desk somewhere. Seeking, you shall find. Seeking, I should hopefully um, find. Whilst you're seeking, I can say hi to you. Angie, who's joined us in California. Lynn, who's joined us. Sarah Ibbotson, who says hello again. Uh, Sheena, Ben uh, and crew. Uh, good morning from Arkansas. Uh, and Sheree Miller, who says hello, Sheena and Ben. Fully caffeinated. Well, that actually says caffeinated. Fully caffeinated. Um, and ready to go. And also hi to Jeffrey Langley, who says a very happy Thursday, Sheena. And Lord Ben. And the magnificent and super CTV crew. Thanks, everybody. Um, keep the comments coming. I do hope you're asking questions in the background as well, because Sheena and I need some questions uh, for our sit down sesh in uh, just over an hour's time. Hi, also to Evelyn Kiefer, who's joined us from a snowy Colorado. Ooh, okay, have you got Colorado. your stencil? Well, you know my obsession with um, Alaska. Oh, yes. Because I was watching it on Discovery Plus, and I thought, yeah. oh, I'd love to live in Alaska. It looked pretty, I love a bit of snow. Yeah. Well, at South Shields yesterday, walking along the front. You were at South Shields? South Shields. Yeah. I had, um, I had a jumper, then I had a thinner zipper quilted under jacket, then I had an over jacket, I had a hat and I had a hood on. Oh. And the wind, couldn't stand the wind on my face. Oh. So I think I've given up on Alaska. Mm. Yeah. What's it like in South Shields though? Because I'm doing the Great North Road. Freezing. Road Oh, is it pretty there, though? Is it a nice beach? Yeah, right. Well, the thing is, Ben, here's yeah. the thing with this. Yeah. I wanted to add enough water to get a reaction. Yeah. So the stencils are... Um, because I'm adding a lot of water, we're losing the orbs, OK? But I don't mind. It's just given me a bit more pattern texture. I'll show you the difference on the other half of the thing because I really want these inks to show up what they're doing, right? When I lift this up, you'll see we've got no orbs going on. We've just got splodges, right? But I think I'm just going to go with a sponge instead because I want to see what these inks are doing. OK, mm. and this is Brian. It is yeah. Brian. New um, terrain couldn't... this for Brian, isn't it? I don't think he's been, been um, used for the colour blooms before. Brian hasn't. Yeah, Brian's a bit excited. If I was to bring anything, any sponge other than Brian on holiday, that would not, not go down well. You know, if Trevor made it on holiday, oh, not Brian, it won't be good. So let me let me try another one because I want to say like here what if we drop a bit of water there, what colour blooms going to happen there? What's going to happen with this yellow? What's going to happen here? I want just dark because I want to see larger impressions of colour change. Yeah, does that mm. make sense? Mm -hmm. Well, you can just sort of. See it beginning to react. You can see like little, um, like little orbs coming up, can't yeah, you? Yeah, like halos. Yeah. I want to see the like the the outside of this one here. Yeah. If I I don't want to I don't want to dry it. You can see it down the bottom as well. Yeah. With if the, I is that dry the dust orchid. It, yeah. If I dry it, we're gonna stop the reaction happening. Yeah. So we have to be patient. Patient. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. 
You know what I always write? In my youth, there yes. used to be a couple called Cleo Lane and Johnny Dankworth. Yes, I do know And used to names. appear all the time. Mom used to, and I always used to imagine Cleo Lane and Johnny Dankworth doing this. But there always used to be the really bad jazz people. And there'd be a bloke on the piano and we'd do it. Like, yeah, like a little wink. wink. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they'd do it. Oh, a cheeky little wink when they were playing the piano and the bass yeah. broke it off. Yeah. Like that, wouldn't they? Wasn't yeah. it queer? Yeah. Exactly, that's exactly it. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the ad lib was. Da -da -da -da. So I used to like it. I don't know where I saw it. Was it maybe it was on um, Come Dancing in the afternoons when they do, um, the, the bloke on the, um, the big, like, Wurlitzer well, organ would come up out of yeah, the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that would be the same. Wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And then they had those buttons that would pull out as well, didn't they? The buttons that would pull out. And he'd get. Because it was on the like that with the feet as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's exactly it. Mm. Yep. We're happy in my head, aren't we? We, are, yeah. we can see it. <laughs> yes. Oh, well, it's a crazy stuff. place to be, isn't it, in yeah, our heads? Crazy. Happy mm. place, Ben. Happy anyway, place. Anyway, how's the, um, the kind of balloons coming on? It's a happy place to be. There's good stuff happening here. Yeah. And look. Look at this up here. I'm liking this. Can you see where the, the reaction's happening here? This is, yeah. this is more colour um, dispersing. And, um, yeah, like displacement, you've yeah. got halos going on, a bit more going on than you would with your regular ink pads going on here. Can you see that? Yeah. yeah. Certainly, it's, it's more difficult to see, I think, on my camera here, but down the bottom, certainly, the dusk orchid, you can see the separation yeah. of colour Shall there. Shall I dry it and see if we've got any more kind yeah. of stuff going on there? But it is a very nice background, I have to say. And I'm wondering if when we dry it, there might be a little bit more... Um, you know, bleaching and colour reaction going on there as well. Colours are fabulous. Colours are intense. Yeah. Definitely great with just water dropped on it. That would be fab. I would stencil over that as well. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. You could still stencil over it with these here. But I think what I would do is go for contrast. Yeah. Um, probably a dark stencil would look good. We could do like a... Um, you could layer some orbs. Let's put some orbs on that with some colour. Yeah. And it's, a really, it's a really different effect to what I've seen before, because like previously I've seen that the guys just like say stamp with it and then spritz it to get that halo. Um, but this is like a really, a, a more different effect. And I actually really, really like it. Um, mm. it's just, yeah. And as I say, from my, I don't know how everyone else sees this on their cameras at home, but from my point of view, it's like the bottom left where you can see it happening the most. And actually top right now too. Yeah. I think it's, this reminds me of um, it's very volcanic lava. Yeah. yeah, I think what I think the the main thing I'm taking away from it is like the tie dyed effect around the outside. That watermark is very prominent, isn't it? Yeah. Like around here, the blues popped out a lot. There's orange in the centre more. I'm going to dry it really well because then we'll put a little bit colour on top of that as well. We'll see what happens. With stencils. Um, whilst we're watching, um, messages coming through from uh, Lynn Clifton on Facebook who says, You'll be dancing in a min. Oh, yes, you probably will be singing and dancing here. Uh, and Suzanne Dawn says, Tap on the hand, I'm late to the Sheena party, but I'm excited to learn now that I'm here. <laughs> Always excited to learn. Last chance as well, don't forget, on the Colour Me Happy shows to get your free gift. Uh, and of course, last chance to learn on the website to pick up the free for twos. And um, the stamp set, of course, as well. Ooh, and also, before I forget and get my wrist slapped, what is it today? Hmm? £10 Thursday. £10 Tuesday. £10 Thursday. Because uh, it's Thursday. Um, so check out the deals on the website. £10, $10 Thursday. You are welcome. Sarah Brown says, loving the improv with Sheena and Ben. Always great for the laughs. If it's crappy improv, entertainment improv, that's what you come here for. That's what we'll give you. Yeah, yeah. Because you know what? I think um, it's it's one of those. There's there's so many there's so many people that you meet, and um, only so many people you meet that have that same sense of humour. Yeah. And you already are playing the next scene 
and you get it before you before you voice it and you're both laughing at it yeah. before any yeah yeah and i think uh we were just talking about that. Let's pop some um, little um, bits of stenciling in here yes. as well. Shall we have a bit of play with it? Yeah. Okay. Um, what's that one? Let's say anemone. Ba -ba -ba -na -na. Let's try anemone. Right. Right. So I'm just pouncing through this. We might as well see what they look like when they're stenciled. And they are very matte. They do dry to a lovely flat matte finish. Yeah. So up opposite to your shimmering pads, they're going to be um, really like a chalk paint finish. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got that really nice leafy kind oh, of. Oh, I'm loving pretty, the look it? of this. Yeah, nice. I like that. And then I guess I'm only. I'm, am I guessing here? I think I know. You could then uh -huh. spritz that again, couldn't you? You what? Sorry. You could then spritz the what you're. Oh yeah, in. absolutely, and then see what happens with that. Let's do it. What? Come on! Well, come, on. The ideas. come on! That's what we're. Let's do. Yeah, let's do another one. Yep. Um, uh, Sherry Miller just said uh, Sheena and Ben's snazzy jazz club. Now oh, that is yeah. somewhere I would like to go. Oh yeah, in yeah. the sixties would be like beatniks. Beatniks. Like, nice. <laughs> 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 I, I just don't know why all of them are sudden I just imagine like a smoke filled bar and like uh, yeah. you and me up on the stage and I don't know why I was on the keyboard doing the whole yeah, yeah, yeah. and you were there on like a dum, 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 but dum, dressed in dum, black dum, with dum, those turtleneck <laughs> things yeah. Like, yeah. and a blackberry yeah dum, 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 spinning around your double bass <laughs> oh dear Perfect. maybe if this okay. ever fails we can set up our own nightclub absolutely yeah. absolutely yeah, yeah yeah fantastic I like yeah. it Sheena I like and Ben it. snazzy jazz like club it. coming to a town near Clingle, you ben, is a triangle <laughs> oh, yeah. on a good day ding ding <laughs> <laughs> I'd rock it out though Ben yeah <laughs> right so we've got we've got we got the leaves there. I think that looks good. Should we, should we try put a bit of water on them? See what see what happens. Yeah. 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 Go on. Give it a little. Oh. Because why not? You know yeah. that's what we're doing. We're experimenting, are we not? See what happens here. And we can oh, do those. Can and, uh, yeah, Nicola saying, can you spray it with your mister? Yeah, sure. Yeah. But if you want more texture, drop it like that. If you want less texture, spray it with a mister, yeah. which I happen to have in my... So there's a box I carry around. You know what I say? I've got my essential box of stuff, yeah. right? This is this is what that you don't normally see. This is the stuff, look. And yeah, look, my sparkle overlay, it's always uh, there. Yeah. Miss misters, they're always there. These are my essential, like, guys. This is, uh, look, my white... Pen, these are always with me. So yeah, there you go. Me gouache, all good there. Um, so yeah, now that's gone really, really um, very muted in the background and that's cool, but we can dry that and we can do another layer. And it, again, it's about creating a background that looks interesting. And you don't know why it's interesting until you look more deeply at it and you realise it is about the layers. It's about the... Um, you don't see everything at first glance. Yeah? yeah. Um, Sheena says, Laurie, I used to live in Alaska as a little girl. Fine then, but not now. In the mountains, had snow in the summer lots of the time. Yeah. Said, Laurie. You see, I could probably snow without wind. The wind that just hurts yeah. doesn't it yeah it was so oh we were hurting see i went to the arctic um ooh, 12 13 years ago for a um like a charity thing um uh it was like a survival week similar to what sarah did but just not on the tv and um it there it was like absolutely freezing cold and it was no northern sweden in the arctic loads of snow but it was still and that i could cope with that it yeah. was like minus 20, yeah. but it wasn't like that wind in your face, so you can kind of cope with it better yeah, still. Yeah, still. still. Still, it's okay, but that, yeah. oh, God, was really cold, and it was, like, hurting, you know? Yeah. Like, oh, not nice. Didn't like it, Ben. Did not like it. So we'll put some more leaves on there, but we'll make them uh, more prominent there. We'll do them more uh, defined, and I was thinking of a... A different colour possible. Let's do this one. What's okay? that one? Yeah, let's do darker. And let's do more defined uh, now with that one. So those ones are more broken in the background. These ones are going to be more 
um, sharper. We're not going to spritz these ones. We're going to leave these ones more intact. See, look, how cool is that? It's much prettier, isn't it? Absolutely. So you're just layering them, and that's just that stencil from the garden visitors. And so you don't need, you know, a, a, a whole stencil of just that leaf. You just need that little bit of that leaf with the orbs and things and the swirls, and you just keep turning it round. So you've got more value for money that way. You don't, you just keep twisting it and turning it. And we'll put some orbs on the top bit and see what we get there as well. What right, it's so that's all about all about the experimentation. I'm loving it. It's gorgeous. Thank you. It, it is pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and then we'll go with these big orbs, and then we'll try doing a little bit of full bleaching on the top bit, shall we? Yeah. See what we can do, and we'll do that with one of those um, with a cloth. So the key with these, these, then, really, is I suppose the same with the duet ink pads is to you can multi-layer them, but. The, I suppose the key here is, is, to, is to wait a little bit longer for the water to react, yes. then dry, then dry, and then go again. Exactly. Yeah. Let them do their thing. Don't be too speedy yeah. on the on trying to like um, you know full bleach them and everything. See now this what I'm what this is doing is um, it needs the the moisture to get the ink to to do its thing. I don't want to rub the surface of the of the card off. But it does need the moisture to um, to react with the ink, exactly yeah. as Ben's just said. So it could be a more of a time-consuming thing to to dab this and and build it up. So yeah, you see, I don't mind that. That's a little bit um, flared, but I don't mind that. So what you would have to do to do this more controlled, if you are doing this at home, is take your time a little bit more than I'm doing. So less moisture, but take more time to do it. Yeah. It's look really cool. Really cool. Nicola's very impressed in the gallery. <laughs> you never seen, you never seen them used? Well, I never did. It's the first time that Nicola's seen them as well. It's the first time I've seen them like using this way. And I'm re I've got to tell you, I'm really, really um, impressed. And I think a lot of people are now going to be um, going home and having to play with them this way Good. as well. Good. Well, it's, and it's the first time I've used them. Yeah. So I'm just doing what I would do to try and see what I would want to put ink pads through the pieces to see what I could do with, yeah? Yeah. It's you know, it's like, though, you know, it? if you that... get a new car, you'd want to yeah. see what it could do. You know, you, you would have certain... Um, are you, are you, yeah, are you, donuts in the car donuts park. In the car <laughs> like Nicola yeah. said, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like Music I do, playing. you know. Well, <laughs> ooh, I might get it into second gear. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, you like those, Sheena? You, you yes, they're really nice. Yeah, they're nice. But they're, it's like everything. You've got to get the feel of them and what they, you know, they're all, they all um, react differently. You know, they're all going to be, they have this, their own kind of like, um, quirks they're not they're not going to react like the water reactives they're not going to be they're going to have their own little um uh, pluses and minuses all the ink pads have their their pluses and minuses they take a little bit more to blend but and you know you would get the glycerin and in this case didn't seem to first time i've never used glycerin and it helped massively mm. um so you just try something else but that, what I would do is probably use a black ink pad. I'm going to dry this. I'm going to show you why as well. I wouldn't use an ink pad in isolation. Even though I've got these new ink pads, mm. I would use a um, black water reactor still with this, and I'll show you why. So I would dry this properly, and then I'm going to go around the outside again with black. And the reason is, is it will draw my eye into the centre because it finishes the edges of your card and when you look at your backing papers and things a lot of them still have that vignette kind of look even though it's some of it's more um, extreme than others it's still there often yeah. yeah and you don't always notice it can you see how that's just it's softening those orbs now yes it's, it's actually still reacting when i'm drying it see that one's going much lighter and see yeah. the halo around the outside I think it's some of the most dramatic colour changes I've seen from these. Yeah. Um, really, really impressive. I think it's a case of giving them the chance to do their thing 
and I think it needs plenty of ink to see the change. Yeah, yeah. With sometimes a stamp, the stamp doesn't hold that much um, ink on the line. Mm -hmm. So you don't see a lot of change because there's not a lot of ink there. So by having a lot of ink on a background, when you do add the water, you see the, the change more prominently. So I'm just popping a little bit of dark around the outside here and you think, oh no, no, it's like dark in it, it's going to look depressing. It doing? doesn't, it just draws your eye and it makes the centre look even more glowing. Just the edge, catch the edge with the, with the um, uh, noir or jet black water reactive mm. and it'll just draw your eye to the middle and make that centre area glow even more. Don't go too far in. Just see the way I'm holding the blending tool at an angle. So it's just catching the very edge of that cord. Just like that. And then, hopefully, I think that looks even more dramatic. That is incredible. Who's impressed? You've got to be off your trolley if you're not impressed with that. <laughs> and there you go that was just a nice little first try with those ink pads absolutely <laughs> incredible oh can i have another can i can we look at that again yeah just there you go shall put it against a nice white bit of cord yeah you see it better instead of that messy background let me get a bit of cord and then you can see i'm it. not just saying this because it's you here Sheena. i think that's one of my favorite demos with the color blooms i Thank really you. really like i think Cheers. yeah most impressed and wowed by that Cheers. Um, absolutely brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Um, loads of comments coming through. Ooh, pretty background, Sheena, says Sarah Muir. Uh, and Sheena, you could make a cool moon with the blooms and the orbs, says Shirin Miller. I, yeah. Look, I think they've, they've been brilliantly demonstrated. And how good, whoever it was, I think it was, was it Lizard, did you say? Lizard! Thank you so much for your uh, request of working with these and because it was lovely to see Sheena's take on them. And just a quick question from Lisa P, just before I recap on these. She says, rookie question, this is fine, we don't mind rookie questions. How do you clean stencils after use? Best oh, way? Um, just a wipe. Thing is, with stencils, never get too vigorous with your cleaning. Just with care, always with care with stencils. Um, because there's always little bits that you could accidentally bend up when you're cleaning them. Let me show you these ones. There's one with ink on here. So that one there, I would take one of these wipes and I'll just, well, the wrong side to start with. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. And just, can you see how I'm just very gently tapping it and working in because I don't want to vigorously flick it the wrong way if there's a little bit that I, I'm going to bend back. Because if you bend this mylar back and create a crease in it it's really hard to get it to fold back so just take your time blotting it is better than quickly scrubbing it like this so um yeah just a a, a baby wipe even with this water-based stuff if it's something like a acrylic paint put it in soapy water asap even if you're busy working with it yeah definitely if it's a glitter paste have a have a, a bath a um a container with soapy water in it, ready, and pop it straight in the soapy water. Do not let anything acrylic base dry on your stencil, because if it does, you're not going to get it off later, especially a glitter paste, or a modelling paste, or a texture paste. Um, but water-based stuff like this, um, you don't have to clean it off immediately, but um, and, and a baby wipe or a, or a, a, you know, a surface wipe will do it. Fantastic. Um, all the colours you're going to get then, let's recap on those for you. So. 12 in total, but it's 24 really, isn't it? And then, well, as you've seen there, potentially hundreds of colours that you can get when you can combine them all together. But this one here is your hellebore. So those are the two colours that you're going to be able to achieve. That's the initial colour that you're going to lay down. And then once you start adding your um, water, which you spritz it, or you're sort of pouncing your, uh, your water on there, you're going to be able to achieve the secondary colour. And that's what you've got all the way through these. So that one there is your pink grapefruit, which you saw in the last demo. Then you've got nebula pomegranate, anemone, rose cloud, rose cloud, rose cloud, shoal, 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 summer bouquet, pumpkin patch, dusk orchid which we saw, willow river, and stargazer. 
72 pounds, 88 dollars. Um, superb, Sheena says Sherry Miller, and Sarah Ibbotson says so atmospheric. Oh, I love an atmosphere, a happy atmosphere. <laughs> happy atmosphere. Oh, what an atmosphere. I love a party with a happy atmosphere. Uh, we're gonna have a break. Thank goodness you're saying. Yes, um, questions we need for about 50 minutes time. Any more comments, any more requests? We are gonna come back after the break. I can just see Sheena getting ready with the blending solution because we had a question about that. I know Nicola asked, um, asked for a uh, demo on it but we have had other people asking about blending solutions, so we'll tackle that when we come back. Anything you want to see, ask us. Uh, anything you want to ask, ask us. Um, but get your baskets and carts checked out. Last day for the free gift, don't forget, and last chance to learn on that three for two on Spectrum Noir goodies. Whilst we get ready for the demos, let's give you opportunity to get checked out, and let's say hello to Mr. Craig Laird from Carnusti. I like to get up, chill, relax, get a cup of tea, then get myself sorted. And if I'm presenter, I'll write all my notes. If I'm the demonstrator, I'll get my prep out, have another look at it, make sure that everything is the way it needs to be for the show, do the show. Then what I'll do is I'll grab something to eat, then have another look at the sheets again, making sure the next show's all good to go. Then we do that show tidy. I always like to make sure that the area's nice and tidy, either for myself the next day or whoever's in. Jump in the car, head home, I will quickly unpack what I need to unpack and then I get on that sofa as quick as I can. As soon as we go live, I love that within our live shows, I always get the butterflies. Soon as we get that countdown in our ear that we're just going live, butterflies kick in and within about 10, 15 seconds, I'm going. Butterflies have gone and we just enjoy the show. Early riser. Oh, shower in the morning. Tea. Oh, savoury breakfast. Masterclass. My mobile phone. Oh, anything with chicken. Currently, it is the weekend, blind and light, and it has been for about a couple of years, and I still love it. Uh, apart from jumping in the car, chilling on the sofa, watching TV. My day-to-day -day life is uh, pretty busy in work. Literally, I get in the door, I check my polls, uh, I then check what I've got to demo, I then get everything ready, um, and it's just busy, busy, busy from there. I, um, I have a meeting with the producer, the director, we get then sorted for the shows, uh, talk to the presenter, um, and it depends what side I'm on. I mean, sometimes I'm doing the presenting side, sometimes I'm doing the demonstration side, and I love both. It's actually who I get to work with. That's, yeah, I can't say no more than that other than anybody that works here. Uh, we are a big family. We're so super family. Um, I love Ben. I love it when we work, work together. And I don't mean that I don't love anyone else. It's the fact that Ben is the presenter and then I'm demonstrating and we just have this great rapport. Uh, same with Craig's. Same with the whole team. So yeah, the best part of the day is just getting to work with the best people in the industry. Oh, a night out. Uh, in the morning. Oh, none. I only drink water. Oh, well, I'm cutting out sugar, so it's got to be uh, savoury. Ah, <gasps> masterclass. Oh, I can't leave the house without my lipstick. Oh, I love a baked potato. I relax, so I literally drive home normally. And I relax.
Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for all the lovely comments coming through. Superb, Sheena says Sherry. Stunning, says Cindy. Um, Suzanne, uh, he, well, we've got some good, uh, good questions coming through, actually. Um, can you show me how to watercolour, says Jamie. If, if we get a chance a little bit later on, we'll be, maybe do a bit of that. Um, and what other ink pads could you use for the effect that you've just done there? I mean, if, if you want to achieve the effect of the colour changing, you have to use those, don't you? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. colour bloom. That, yeah. To get that, um, that halo that's, that's split mm. with those um, orb kind of things where it's got that kind of like colour halo around the outside. That's what those ink pads yeah. have been designed to do. But the blend and the full mm. bleaching you know the um the duets will do it the yeah. water reactives we can, you can do that same thing and stamp water reactives aren't opaque ink pads so you know where you've got this one stamped over the top here that won't be as um prominent because it, they're translucent ink pads so duets would be the ones to go with you know the other duet ink pads excellent yeah. um mystery bag Oh, make sure you tune in Sunday at five, by the way, for our second chance Sunday. Um, this one might be featuring, just putting it, putting it out there. Our top, t our tap, our, ah, no, it's not a spoiler alert. Top 10 countdown. This is going to feature, isn't it? You know, this is going to feature. But what number is it going to be? Jamie, we only pre-recorded it a few hours ago and you can't even remember. If you can't remember, I'm not going to tell you. Uh, that is um, Sunday at 5, midday, uh, Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. But the Colour Me Happy Anniversary Mystery Bag launched on Monday. Um, I think, well, certainly yesterday we had less than 100 of these, so you are going to have to go fairly quickly if you want to grab them. The way that it, this worked out for me, right, I did the Mosby maths on it. £32 or $40, and this is what you're paying for. The duo colours... Um, dual tipped coloured pencils which we're going to have a look at with Sheena in just a few moments time so yes 13 pens but 26 colours you've actually got within this set and if you're getting these hopefully you're picking up the blending solution as well uh, which is available on the three for two so you pay for those you're also pay <laughs> you're also paying for um, your metallic pencils and the beautiful shimmer spray from the Bella Luna collection, uh, your white, silver, and your gold, right? So that, that's it, that's the value of your bag. That's your 32 pounds or 40 bucks. But then for free, we give you your misters. Oi, mister, four of them you're gonna be getting. Might be very, very good to use if you've um, picked up the color blooms. You're gonna get a little pot of our glitter glue, free. You're also going to get one of our glitter pastes, the Royal, or is it Regal? Same thing, Regal or Royal Purple, isn't it? Regal or Royal, same, that's free. Also for free, you're gonna get our Harmony uh, Quick Dry Ink Pad, which is the Ocean Blue. Also for free, we're gonna give you one of our original shimmer ink pads, the Silver Shimmer, which is the Starlit Sky, free. Is a nice colour. And also you're going to get for free one of our metallic uh, ink pads, the Midas in the bronze. Um, so a great, the reason why this has been so popular, A, the price, but B, all consumables. So chances are if you're a big fan of the Spectrum Noir range, uh, you, you'll think, well, I'm going to run out of these, so I'll need to stock up. So you're grabbing them for that. But also if you are fairly new, then it's a great way to try out lots of different mediums from the range. So grab it whilst you can. 32 pounds, 40 bucks. Look at the saving that you're making. You'll get your free gift as well. Don't forget, that's going to be thrown in for good measure. But what we're going to concentrate on here is those pencils from the set alongside the blending solution um, because this is going to help you to create an even more fantastic blend with those pencils um, when you use the solution. So let's get on over to Sheena, who is going to show us how to use them. So first things first, the... The, the pencils we can use on their own, Sheena, can't we? But yes, But when you absolutely. add the, the blend solution in, what yeah. you're going to show us, it makes it look slightly different, doesn't it? Yes, yeah, so let me show you um, about these. These here are pencils, then. These here are pencils? These here are pencils, and now you, you've used them. Yeah. Um, because they, um, 
depending on the card you use them on as well, I've got two different types of card that I like to use the pencils with. So you do need a pencil with a tooth. By that, I mean a pencil, uh, sorry, a pencil, a paper um, with a yes. tooth. So a smooth paper like Nina, not good. That's not good. Um, you need a, a, a paper that has got a bit of um, a graininess to it. In fact, you know what you can even use? Um, artists, and I bought some, and it's really expensive. You can get a paper, um, one of the brands is a Claire Fontaine, it's called, and mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a sanded paper, Ben. Can you believe it? It's like sandpaper. Okay. So pencil artists use a sanded paper, and it's basically like, you know, like wet and dry paper that you yeah. do, like your DIY with, you buy yeah. the DIY store. Well, I've bought regular wet and dry paper, a really high grit, so like 5,000, 2,500. And you can use your pencils on that, and it looks amazing. It's a stamp on that and use it. I've done that on my web, on my um, Facebook page and things, and we'll do it again, so keep watching, because I'll be doing okay. more of that. But the next best thing is then to that would be craft card works great with your pencils. Um, watercolour card, because that's yeah. got a tooth to it. So let me show you how you could... So you can blend without the blending solution, which um, we'll do a little bit of that with. But let me show you if you want... But it was specifically the blending solution you wanted to know. Yes. So let's pick out some um, some colours. Let's do these little peonies with some... Um, a little bit. Let's do this one here. So let me show you. First thing is I'm going to start with a darker colour at the base of these petals here. So I'm using the um, dark, the purpley colour here yeah. at the base of the petals. And I'm just going up and I'm going to use the darker colour just where some of these little veins are as well. And this is your bold, one of your bold floral stamps, It is one isn't of the it? bold People florals, yes. The, uh, sorry, it's the petunia. Yeah. Petunia. Petunia. Petunia, like that. And I'm using some of the, um, the pinky colour here like that. And so you can clearly see that it's not blended perfectly smoothly and I'm going to use a little bit of this pink just coming down like this as well from the top of this petal at the um, down and so I've got creating kind of a highlight in the middle yeah if you just, imagine. Um, whilst you whilst watching you just a question um, hopefully we, we can sort of chat around um, so blending solution we're going to use here uh-huh um, Jeanette's asking, she's saying, uh, is blending solution and glycerin the same thing? No, no. definitely, absolutely, totally different. Okay. So glycerin is water-based yeah. and um, uh, blending solution is alcohol-based. Yeah. Basically, it's an odourless thinner is what this is. So it's like, a, it, that's what it is. It's, it's um, solvent-based is what it is. Mm. And it's, but it's odourless so that, you know, it, it, it's, not, it's more user-friendly, yeah? Um, now, the best way to use this is, um, you know, if you've got any little, those little jam jars that you get and you, you go and you get them at your little hotels and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so get your little jam jars. It's what we used to do back in the day. I'm saying, um, Nicholas just saying, Leanne said we, we did because that's what we all used to do back in the day. Get your little jam jars and get a bit of sponge, a bit like Brian, but not you, Brian, because you're too special. You okay. are, Brian. Stand down. And you, get, and you get your sponge and you fold it up and you squidge it in your jam jar and you pour some of this in that and then the sponge soaks it up and instead of dipping your, um, your blending, um, your paper stump yeah. or your tortilla on in that, like Tortier. that. Tortilla? Tortilla, your tortilla, yeah, in <laughs> there. You just press it onto your thing like that and then it just picks up just enough and then you press in and using little circular emotions like this. Little circular emotions? Circular emotions. Right, with your tortilla. With your tortilla. Yeah. Like that. Not your salsa and your no. guacamole. 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 No, Remember no when, when uh, Mexican food first came over? Yeah. Everybody was ordering, I'll have some guacamole, please. We'll have some of that guacamole. Guacamole. Yeah. <laughs> but what you do is you just do the circular motions like this. And that's now what it's doing is it's breaking down the wax. Um, or the oil, if it's oil-based. Wax-based pencils blend better with this than oil-based. And um, basically, that's what you're doing is you are blending, you're breaking it down. So you know the way water um, uh, blendable pencils, yeah. you are breaking down the, the, um, the pigment and it's dissolved by water. This is just doing the same thing, but it's mm. breaking down the, the wax so that 
that's what's it. And then you've got that blend, you see, and Beautiful. you can't see. Yeah. But what you can also do is you can layer with this as well. So if you want, and especially when it's still wet, it, it enables you. What happens is when you are with pencils, the only way the, the paper that you can colour in with pencils is you are filling in the green of the card, yeah. right? So if you imagine the green of the card, let me show you sideways on your card. Um, I need a pen, bear with. And I'm sorry if Leanne's always ex already explained this to you. Well, but it's good to see it again, but I, I feel yeah. like, yeah, you're reiterating what she showed us on so Monday, but this is great. If you cut this card like that, if you look sideways under a magnifying glass yeah. at this card, it's going to be like this, like this, right? Mm. Like that. Um, the pencil's going in here like this, mm. right? And eventually it's going to fill up here like that. Mm. But what that does is it breaks it down and it starts to fill in like this and again, yeah? Yeah. Which then gives you more room so that you can fill on the top again. And that's what I'm doing now by using this here. So I can now get more colour and more intense colour over the top. And I can do a little bit more line work if I want onto these petals to add a little bit more detail if I need to over this and add a bit more um, bit more articulation and put a bit more life into that petal and make it look a little bit more lively and like I've got a bit more movement in that and a bit more realistic and make it look much more um, like petally. Yeah. That's it. Petally petal. Petally petal. Um, has that helped? Absolutely. And the same goes with your, um, you know, if you were doing it on another colour, the same deal. White is fabulous for these. So if you white onto, can you see how um, onto craft card, white mm. is fabulous. If you um, establish the lightest bits first with your white, what you're doing is you are claiming space in these little grooves first, right? right? before anything else gets in there. It's like the towels on your on your deck chairs on holiday. Yes. Get there quick <laughs> and get that cleaned <laughs> with the white, okay? So claim your space with white and any lighter colour. Um, and then you can go and build up colour on top of that. And um, and you've already got your um, your colour established there, and then you can go and add other colours on top of that if you want. But craft card and pencils, wax pencils, um, oil-based pencils, is a fabulous marriage because look at how that colour's already popping on there, and then you can go and build it up even further and get even more um, pop of colour and just then you can what they call burnishing once you've filled all the color where you've got it when you burnish you're basically saying i've got enough color and I'll, i'm committing to that and you you really add um use your white pencil and it ends up where it's basically polished and you're polishing the pencil like that and it goes a bit shiny sometimes but you are basically sealing that and you've got all that color there and you're done fan dabby dozy I, I've re I can't believe we've done an hour already. The, 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 the hours with Sheena seem to just disappear like that. Um, I'm sure you guys will agree as well. They're absolutely brilliant. Um, thank you for all the lovely comments coming through as well. Evening, Michael Adams. Hello, Michael. He says, good evening, Ben and Sheena from Michael, Stephanie, and you know who, Akil, uh, is watching. Um, and Stephanie Theodos just says, I love colouring pencils. If you love these, don't forget, you'll need to grab this bag. That's where they are. Uh, the deal is the duo colour pencils, the metallic pencils, and Sheena's Bellalon collection, where you're going to get those two gorgeous sprays. That's what you're paying for. And then for free within the bag, Mr's. Glitter paste, glitter glue, Midas metallic ink pad in the bronze, one of our shimmer ink pads in the starlit sky, and one of our quick dry ink pads too. All of that in there is incredible value, 32 pounds, 40 bucks, but you're gonna have to be quick because that is proving very, very popular indeed. And remember, all these deals must end at midnight tonight. Hello and a very warm welcome. If you've just joined us, you're watching Crafters TV. Um, thank you for joining us. It's the last hour of our Colour Me Happy fourth anniversary spectacular. We've been celebrating over the course of the last four days and this is it. This is it. So it's your last chance to ask questions. Oh, by the way, uh, of course, Sheena is in the house. In the house. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> so we are going to be taking a seat over in Essentials Corner in around about half an hour, 35 minutes. So far, I know we've got um, eight questions lined up. Um, so that is quite a few. However, it does not mean that you can't ask a question. If there's anything you want to ask Sheena, 
anything with the project you're doing so far you need some expertise uh, advice on um, anything you're stuck on anything if you're just starting out with your um, coloring mixed media and you want um, Sheila's advice those questions we love um, and don't be afraid to kind of if you think stuff ah oh, I bet you know Sheila's been asked this question a million times ask it the million and first time we, we don't mind that at all uh, and we'd rather you knew what you were doing and went away happy than you kind of sat there sort of stewing and also if you want to ask Sheena any questions in general maybe you want to ask her uh, how her holiday was um, it's over to you eight questions so far let's try and get a few more um, but get those in now so we can compile them ready for that part of the show um, during this hour though we will continue with your comments and questions it's the last live hour to get your um, free gift of course with every £10 spend you will get not in He's not, he's not there. He is available on the website, though. He is. Thank Yes, you are, aren't you, Vernon? Yes, I am, Mr. Ben. He is uh, available. Well, not him. His cousins are available back on the website, the desk vacuums. And then also, this is your £10 gift. Uh, aqua in the Aquamarine. You've got the Illustrators in the um, True Black. And then you've got a Classique in there in the future. Midnight tonight, that ends. Also ending midnight tonight is the uh, three for two. And he said two for three. Uh, three for two. That would be rubbish. Uh, <laughs> um, the three for two on the Spectre Noir items. That ends tonight. And I think the stamp sale ends tonight as well. Up to 75% of selected uh, stamps. So get online. And also today, just to confuse matters even more, as if none of us know where we are, what we're doing, what day of the week it is, we're doing £10, $10 deals. Normally left for a Tuesday, now on a Thursday. Just go with it, everybody. Up until midnight tonight, check out all the deals. So there's lots to check on the website. Uh, however, over the course of the next sort of 35, 40 minutes, we will have a look at some more demos. We are going to have a look at these, he says, stretching and bending, the Aqua watercolour markers. Um, it's a two-pack collection where you, well, actually two-pack. Two You're getting 24 colours in total. Sheena's absolute uh, favorites these the aquas and of course with these once again you get your dual ended marker as you're seeing on the front here so you get your uh, brush nib and you get your ultra fine nib and of course these are going to uh, react once you start um, adding your water to them um, water soluble of course um, and look if you go through the two packs that we've got here so the two that we're going to be giving you are essentials so yes essentials and nature these are all of the colours that you're going to get and the kind of gradients of colour that you can achieve once you start adding your water. So across this one here, which is your nature, um, look, you can see where we've just laid this down and started to add water in the sunset, amber, chestnut, fawn, desert and topaz, evergreen, sea green, kingfisher, peacock blue, marine and boulder. And then this one here is your second pack, which is essentials. And the essentials, again, laying it down here, then adding the water, peach, lime, spice, I thought that said Dave. Oh dear, it's late. Spice, Dave. Terracotta, moss. Slate, tan. Chocolate, charcoal. Sepia, and Dave. Um, <laughs> so those are all the colours, all the gradients of those colours. But then, there's nothing to stop you, is there? Taking these down onto a little palette, onto your glass mat, and then combining colours to make new colours. That's the genius of them. And that's why, yes, it is 24 colours but it's a lot more than that once you start playing 24 pounds is ridiculous 36 dollars stock up if you've already got them if you haven't you're going to want to grab them uh, especially after sheena has worked her magic your faves these aren't they these i pens? love them yeah love them so much you can do with them um i haven't got a plan i was thinking of something different to do with them oh yeah show up a play just have a play. I mean, that's where you're at your best, I think, isn't it? When you just... Yeah. The mind wanders and you go off on a tangent. Yeah. I think, um, yes. Shall we do a kind of a suggestion of a scene, but not a draw the line? Oh, yeah. Because we've done loads of draw the line. We can do draw the line, because why would you not? Yeah. But I thought we'd do something different. Okay. Maybe, as well. Um, so I've got this, um, the nature. Is it nature? Nature, yeah. Yeah, nature set there. So there's two ways you can use them, right? You can go directly to the card and, and that's great, but you can always, and that's a bit trickier to be honest. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna scribble some color onto my mat here. Yeah. And I'm gonna go with the blues to start with, but with the brush nib, because the brush nib is, you've got the brush nib, yeah? And yeah. you've got the bullet nib there, okay? Yeah, bullet nib. So it's the brush nib I'm looking at to start with. And I'm I'm looking at making a suggestion of a, a, a scene 
that then we might play around with a little bit more but i haven't really got a plan in my head as you can tell okay um i'm not even you know i'm not rubbish at pretending that i'm uh, clearly i'm not even going to try because <laughs> it's quite apparent isn't it <laughs> that i haven't got a plan and i think that's that'll be all right we'll, we'll go with this kind of thing here let's just see what we end up with ben there's colors there that we can start to work with so i've got a big brush here and I'm going to, there's, to make it easier, what you can do is you can wet the card first. That's, a, that's one way to do it, is to wet the card if yeah. you want it to blend more easily. So the large brush, wet the card, and then take the darker colour for your sky, pop it at the top, start at the very top, and what we're going to do is start to create this aerial perspective look, which means it goes darker at the top, and then lighter towards what you're going to kind of suggest as the horizon line, yeah. which will be about there. And then at the horizon line, usually the colour gets more greyish and washed out. Yeah. Okay, so less colour and more washed out kind of suggestion of trees. Mm. And then it can get more tree colour in more the background. More tree colour. Yeah, in the background. And then we can make it maybe more colour towards the foreground uh -huh. and then more colour again in the very foreground of the picture and end up with much more colour at the very bottom and but we've done nothing more than just bands of colour yeah but we've got a nice mix and a nice colour palette just with those colours out of that mm. there and always start bigger because you can see my fingers there where I've just been trying to hold that down and then what you can do you can start to create suggestion of hills in the background with just yeah. taking some colour out with water like this. So I'm taking, I'm wetting the brush and lifting colour out like this with water. So you see how it's lifting, lifting the colour out? Yeah. Oops. And then you can do that little bit in the very distance as well. And it starts to give you sort of simple but pretty suggestion of a of a landscape a without a, draw the line. Bit of a beachy, beachy scene. It does I'm look a bit there. beachy, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. That must be because I've been spending, I've had the almost a week in South Shields. It's South Shields, that's, that's what you're it. doing. Yeah. yeah. Bitter cold winds yeah. now coming in. <laughs> They're gonna draw you walking along the Me beach. Me walking with the wind along, spraying your face. Like creature the house elf. <laughs> 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 Happy little camper that I am. <laughs> now what I'm gonna do is I'll get some uh, paper. Yeah. And we'll um, take some of this and we can. Oop. So if it was the sea, what I would definitely would do though, what you could do, instead of that curve at the top, let's make that flat there. Mm. Right, because you see, don't kind of like curve, does it? So we'll do a flat line there, because that'll be, um, you know, horizon line of the sea there. And I'm looking over, because you're going to get me head in, in here just a little bit. Yeah. Okay, that's straightish. Yeah. Straightish, yeah. Oh, some gorgeous pictures of the dunes, all the gorgeous little, um, really. In South Fields? Uh, sorry? In South Shields? Yes, oh. lovely dunes there. I was really impressed. I thought, wow, I didn't realise there were such great sand dunes here. Uh, as I say, I've never been, but I shall be there on September the 8th or 9th, I think it is this year, because well, I'm doing the Great North Run. Oh, well, you know um, what, And that's ben, where it ends up, apparently. Because I've lived locally, yeah. you know, all my life, I never, I thought, I can't believe I'm having a holiday in South Shields, um, because, like, you know... When you live there, you never would have a holiday there, would you? You normally, no. and it's true that you never usually go and see these gorgeous places on your doorstep, do you? You well, go miles and miles yes. to have a holiday. Well, I used to live, as you know, down in um, in Brixham in South Devon, the English uh, Riviera, as they called yeah. it. The amount of beaches we used to have there in Torbados. Yeah. And um, yeah, you, uh, yeah, very, very rarely went to them because they were on your doorstep. And yeah. Then you'd, then you'd go somewhere else to go to the beach. Yeah, exactly. What was I even thinking? Crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, see, I always think of that whenever I see that. I always think of um, Faulty Towers. 
Oh yeah, what, for, for Torquay? Yeah, and, and like, well, I was thinking of like, well, the woman complained about, have you? Oh yeah. She said, what do you expect to say? What were you to hoping say? for that? <laughs> of marauding wildebeest. Yeah. 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 Hanging gardens of Babylon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that was such a good show, wasn't it? brilliant, it? isn't it? My favourite episode there was the one when his car broke down. Oh, when he was beating it with <laughs> a tree. And smashing it with a branch. So, a gourmet night, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yes. Because he, he went to, yes, because the chef was drunk, wasn't he? Yeah, absolutely. Was Passed out drunk. Oh, but you know what? I still get so wound up because still, I'm still waiting for something, for it to be okay. And I know it's not going to be okay. No. But you're still, yeah, you're still wanting it to be okay for him. Oh. It's still one of those shows. I think they only ever made 12 episodes, didn't they? But Yes, but they were like still, yeah. still watch them and they're still playing them, aren't they? So funny. So can you see how by, this is why I like this product because you can put the colour down just simply in bands and then play with them and just take the colour out again and then just keep adding a bit more colour if you want and, and just keep playing. Yeah. And they're really user friendly. If you didn't like the shape of the cloud, change it. Like we say they have put what clouds in front of clouds to make them look a little bit more interesting you know because they're not just flat one on and that's that cloud there's yeah. more stuff going on behind that one and and then other stuff going on and and they're not just there's not just flat and then you could use a bit of the blue and maybe make it a little bit something going on like you know a bit more kind of um a darker area on some of the clouds see mm. it just depends how how much you want to play with it you could add little, you know, bits of things if you want on your on your C kind of however much suggestion of, you know, waves or something out there you want to give it. It's your composition and it's your yeah. pretty, you know, little representation. It doesn't have to be a, a you know, a, a, a perfect rendition of a, a coastal scene. It's just a suggestion of a of a C scene, isn't it? That's it. And then uh, up here, we can dry that and then you can do little seagrass. And that's not what I was intending to do, but because it, the colour suggested that, we can dry it and then we can use the other bits of the, the, of the pen to make these little sand dunes, which we'll do in a second. Um, Jeanette says, I bet Sheena could make that tree of the corner die cuts look amazing for the four different seasons. Would love to see what she would do with that. Maybe for a future show. Um, we haven't got those on, that, on the show, actually, but uh, maybe a challenge for later down the line. Uh, Jeanette also saying, thank you, Sheena. I always learn so much from you. Um, and uh, Jeanette also saying, um, read the duo colours. That's why uh, I've never really liked my coloured pencils uh, because I needed the blending solution. If you're of that mindset as well, don't forget. I mean, the blending solution will be still available tomorrow, but it won't be on a three for two. It's definitely worth stocking up on that because that is one of those things that does tend to go out of stock more often than not. So uh, whilst it's in stock and whilst you can get three for the price of two, uh, please make sure you're jumping in and grabbing it. Uh, and also, in the next 15 minutes, get your questions in. Uh, keep those coming because um, we will be sitting down for a bit of a natter in about... Uh, 15, 20 minutes, something like that. Something like that. Look so at that. What you can do is you can, um, I mean, if you want to make the sea a bit darker, little tips as well is if you take your blending tool and you take your um, glycerin, mm. uh, you can uh, pop a little bit on there. So I don't know if it's going to be the best. I mean, it might, might work and it might not. We'll see. But you can take a little bit of the colour and maybe try and just darken a little bit of the sea in the foreground like this. So it just looks a little bit darker and lighter towards the horizon. <laughs> and then we can darken these dunes down a little bit. And that'll be fine because we're going to put some stuff on there as well. But you see, it just darkens that bit just slightly without having to do a wash over it again. Yeah. And what we're going to do is we're going to also darken the foreground slightly again with a little bit of this boulder. Same deal. So take a little bit of this. And um, if you need to put more glycerin on, do. But we'll try it out and see what it's like. So we want to create even more drama and impact. So it brings your eye forward 
again. So you see the way it's looking like it's got more drama in the foreground of the picture. Yeah. And then we'll take that, those colours here. So we'll take the these bits and then you can start just doing these little and that's the fine nib, the fine tip. Just you, I suppose you could use your art liners again here as well, couldn't you, if you wanted? You could use your art liners, but it's really nice to have the colours. The same colours, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And just these little beachy kind of suggestions. And um, maybe the, the uh, cooler brown. And in the other set, you've got the cooler browns and things. You could go with that as well. But just with that, because um, you'd want some darker tones in these beach grasses. Um, so you've got them falling over, but you'd want some darker tones underneath as well. You'd want to give you a little bit of perspective on those. Uh, <laughs> That's so good. It's incredible. And we'll get the we'll get the other set open as well because you do need some darker tones in the foreground. So I would definitely say if you can, well, you definitely want to get the um, the essential set too. Well, you, you get them both in the bundle. Yeah. Oh well. Oh well. Well, why did I not do that from the start, Ben? What am I like? What do you like? What am I like? Yeah. Uh, wasn't somebody wasn't paying attention? What? Oh, not like me, eh? Off in my own world, off on one. Once I start playing, you see, that's it. It's like you forget where you're at. Once you, you. But I'm sure I'm not alone. I bet you, when you start playing, and it's like you forget where you are and what you're doing. Yeah. Time ceases to exist, you and drift it's off into like, your own little world. Yeah, that's it. So you need, you need what you need is some a little bit of. Um, contrast underneath these little grasses to make it look like there's less light kind of in part of it and it's lighter at the top so get a bit brave and and make it look like part of it's folding over a bit mm. and you've got them coming you know over like this as well so they're coming in different directions and really go for it to give it a bit more a bit more drama a bit like my hair of a morning <laughs> and yeah and just have fun with it. Yeah. Anyway, that hopefully that um, amazing, doesn't gives it? you an idea of how you can play with the beach thing. And that was inspired by Sooth Shields. Sooth Shields, man. Sooth Shields. Well, yeah. Is there a North Shields or did I dream that? Uh, yeah, North Shields, oh. South Shields. It's, it's just the time separates them. Uh. And you've either got to get the ferry across. What's North Shields like? Um, it doesn't have the beach and everything, it's more like you go there for your uh, fish key and stuff, you know, for your fish. For your fish cake? Fish key. Oh, the fish, fish key. key. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. And, um, and then, but you go across to go to like your Whitley Bay and your Time Mouth, lovely Time Mouth Sunday Market, brilliant. Is it? Oh, Sunday Market's fabulous. So we went there this Sunday. Is it big? Yes. It's really nice. Yeah, it is an old fashioned, it's the functioning metro station, old train station, wrought iron, lovely. Very nice, crafty, um, quality market. Mm. Lovely. Very, very nice. Tiny yeah. Mouse. Oh, I should put some seagulls in the sky. Shall yes, I? put some seagulls put up there. Seagulls. That's it. <gasps> you should have seen there was a seagull ah, dancing like ah. anything yesterday um, on the site, like for worms. It was like Michael Flatley. Oh, yeah. Feet up was like that all day. <laughs> what? What's the singing? <laughs> yeah. yeah, there you are. So there you go. That's um, South Shields. Let me get me a bit of paper there, and you can. That's the, the last little one. There with your little. Um, put the colour down, lift it up. Do do. Have a bit of play. I mean, that's incredible, isn't it? And, and to quote Stephanie Theodos, to think that that started with stripes. I know. It's a beautiful, um, beautiful picture um, that she has created. Shall we do? There. <gasps> Have um, we got those um, sprays? I haven't got them over here. Oh, I've got these ones. Shall we do a? Oh, we should be brand into the mix with these pens sprays over the top. Should we okay, do that? Let's do it. Do you want to okay. grab and I'll chat. All right, then. Let's do um, it. Hello from Florida, says Stacey Brown. Uh, Olga's joined us, uh, sneaking in whilst at work. And Cat Butt says, sorry I'm late. I love Sheena. I'm having time, though, with son Jake and Dill, daughter-in-law, Rachel, uh, doing all kinds of Sheena. <laughs> 
Um, Stephanie says, I am yearning for the beach and warmer weather. I know, I know. Don't beach. let that stop you. Come to South Shields Don't. in April. Yeah. <laughs> and wrap up warm. And wrap up, though. <laughs> Um, and question for Sheena says, Lynn, what cardstock do I use for the colour blend pencils? Thank you. Colour blend pencils is, um, I like watercolour card with them because okay. it's got that little bit extra uh, tooth to it. Mm. Yeah. I, a craft card works great with them. It looks really good with that contrast to the brown. Yeah. Um, All good. Just before we move on to the, what are we moving on to? Oh, the Bella Luna. Yeah, is that right? Sprays. Yep. The... Um, watercolours, aqua watercolour markers. That's your two pack there. So if you want to grab those, um, you're going to get your essentials um, in here. Uh, peach spice, oh, let's do it off this one. You can read those better, Ben. Peach spice, terracotta, tan, chocolate, sepia, lime, dave, moss, slate, charcoal, black. And then here you have got your sunset amber, chestnut, fawn, desert, topaz, Boulder, Boulder, Marine, Peacock Blue, Kingfisher, Sea Green and Evergreen. So all of those are included. 24 colours, but obviously loads more than 24 colours because you can mix and match them around to create brand new colours. Um, right, in the goodie bag, sprays. Did you, have you got the sprays over there? I you, haven't oh, got them, no. Oh, all oh, right, Nicola, I'm coming. Nah. Computer says no. Nah. Computer says no. Computer says no. Which one do you want? Do you want both or? Um, the gold, please, would be gold. lovely. Gold. Gold. Billy gold Billy finger. Gold finger. Wow, wow, wow. Not the white. You don't want that one, though. No? Yeah, I'll do the gold, thank you. Because I've gone warm, you see. Gone warm uh, colours, warm, yeah. Warm, mate. Warm. The warm, yeah. Cheers. Yeah. That, Let's by the go. way, looks even better in real life. Oh, thanks. It looks incredible. Should have put a bit of white pen on it, it would look better. Mm. Little ripples on the water. See, now I keep looking at it. I want to play. Get to add a little bit more to it. On that. Yeah. Mm. But, you know, time dictates. This next demo is for Robin McMorrow, okay. who asked in the earlier show right, about the Bella Luna okay. Spray. So, Robin, this is for you. No idea what this colour combo is going to look like, but I'm just scribbling colours. But, you know, we'll have a play. Um, get Brian back. Go on, Brian. Get in go there. Brian. So, just scribble some colours. We'll go with the lighter colours first, as always. So we're going to wet the sponge, but not too much. So we'll put it in there and then squeeze it, most of the moisture out so it's barely damp. And then pick up the lighter colour because you can always, um, you know, uh, darken the colour, but keeping the, um, putting the light back is difficult. So let's put that down there and then see if we want to keep that. And then we'll put the, the blue colour. Ba -ba -bam. Um, we'll go with that. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, I like that combination. Yeah, that looks quite metallic. I like that. It looks quite metallic y. Like a rusty kind of thing. Ooh, nice. Yeah, you see, now this looks nice because when you've got to, you've got to imagine what we're going to get when we put the gold over it. This mm. is like the, the base for the gold spray. Gold shimmer. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> <laughs> He's a spray, the spray with the Midas touch. Uh, Fractors touch. <laughs> <laughs> dear, oh dear. We have a laugh here, don't we, eh? <laughs> We're happy, aren't we, Ben? We're happy. I don't We're know if happy. anyone else is, yeah. but we are. We're happy. Yeah. You're uh, all, almost done, aren't you? You're going to get back on the uh, on the craft bus into oh, your cabin. Absolutely. Hey, hey. 35 minutes time, you're absolutely. off. Absolutely. That minty highway. This is really <laughs> beautiful. Very pretty. I'm liking that sunset colour. It gives it that nice bit of uh, the glow, doesn't it? Mm. You should have heard all the ships as well. Whoa, oh, must have been a bit stormy. Yeah, yeah. Into South Shields? Uh, South Shields. Yeah. South Shields, yeah. Absolutely. Uh. Indeed. <laughs> and the seagulls as well. The seagulls are here tonight. You can probably hear them, actually. Listen, listen, listen. 
Yeah, listen to them. There they go. Wow, that was impressive, Ben. You just like said it, and then I'm like, rah, 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 rah. what? Thank you, boys. Yeah, you got yeah. them chewing, Ben. I don't, you're in the wrong place again. Though. There's no sea here hey. in the Cliff. You need yeah, to go like 20 miles the other way. Kess with this Kess of the Seagull world. Kess. <laughs> come on, son. Come by, lad. <laughs> come by. Come by. Come by. Come by. Come by. <laughs> oh dear. What colour are you using now? I'm using black. Oh, black oh I too. went it looks really green on dramatic. My yeah. You know what? I'm just thinking with the black shimmer. No, gold shimmer. Gold. Shimmer. <laughs> I was scared to say it again. It would look pretty um, you know, dramatic with that with that pinky kind of streak in the middle there. Mm -hmm. Black that oh yeah. I wanted that contrast. Yeah. Look at all the texture that's in there with a bit of kitchen sponge, eh? Right. It doesn't sound good weather out there, Ben. I'm not going to lie. No, oh, no. That much seagull activity doesn't <laughs> suggest. <laughs> doesn't suggest. Maybe it's rained so much they think the sea is here. Yeah, right? I just doesn't. You're not thinking balmy weather, are you? No, you're definitely oh, not. Oh man. It's been so weird here recently because we've had so many days where it started off quite nice and we've had a bit of sunshine and then the rain arrived. Oh. It was tipping it down when I went for my sarni earlier on. Oh. But there you go, what are you going to do? It's, it's May nearly, so hopefully by May we might start to get some warmer Don't help weather. me, Ben. Don't help me this month in the van. No. We're in the van all of April. Oh. Yeah, those were, seriously, it was like we were on the North Sea last week. At Finkel Abbey where there's absolutely nothing. No Wi-Fi, no cell connection, nothing but an, an out rooms of an abbey, which is very pretty. Yeah. But that's all there is. What, what, um, what have you got in the van as far as sort of mod cons are concerned? We've got built-in Wi-Fi, oh, but you to get that, you need a, a, a cell connection that works. Yeah. Like a mobile connection. And we've got EE, phones are on EE. Yeah. We've got three. And there's only four to choose from, so two of the four did not work. Oh. And you can't keep behind them to try them. Mm. No Wi-Fi on site. And what have you got in the van? Like, you've got a little living area, kitchen? Oh, it's got, it's got a fixed bed. Yeah. It's got a cooker, like yeah. a hard thing. We take the air fryer. Oh, yes. <laughs> we take the air fryer. We're not, it's not exactly Bear Grylls time. <laughs> um, we've got the, um, yeah, it's got built-in heating and things and, yeah. Very comfortable, it's very nice. We had an air fryer in our um, caravan when we went to, because we were in Northumberland over the, uh, over the last week. Uh, we had an air fryer, because we don't have one, you see. And uh -huh. we tried one for the first time. I thought it was all right. I wasn't, I wasn't mind blown uh, by it. It was a one draw one. And I hear you can get like bigger ones though, can't you? The two draw one, Ben, it's yeah. great. The T-Fal, two T -fal. draw thing. Yeah. I was in the T-Fal of it. Which one is it? Other it's air fryer makes are available. Yeah, exactly. Other, yeah, really. But it's a two drawer one, and you put it in one side, and you go, well, I want to air fry that one for ba ba ba, and this one I want to roast for ba ba ba, <laughs> and you sink it, and it just tells you and it does it all together for you. It's brilliant. So you go chips in one, steak in, steak another, in the even. other, yeah. and it'll just time Walk it all out away. for you. Walk away. And you're ready. So. Give it a good shake, then, and it will Ooh. transform your background. But commit to the spray, okay? Yeah. And then, and also you can just spray it and you can paint it on. But that background now has gone from interesting, so it makes colours that are maybe sometimes meh look. <laughs> Wow. Meh. 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 Yeah, we got the sheep as well. Oh, we found, we had a great, um, you know, we did a couple of days, like, um, off-grid camping. Oh, yeah. We did one, like, you can do, like, a pub car park pa camp. And we did this one in the middle of, it looked like there was no civilization anywhere. And we thought, where's this pub? You call ahead and um, you just go and have a meal in the pub. And it's really great. And um, it, it, it Trace did know about it, but this was a different one. Ah. And um, it was right on the top of, like, you could see for miles. And right outside, sheep. What's up with you? put up the little lambs and the sheep. Ah, where about that? They? I have no idea. Ah. I've, got the, I've got it written down, and I don't even know where we went. We just kept driving it, and you it was like... Magical you, mystery tour. 
it was a mystery tour and it looked like there was like I say you were never ever going to find civilization again couldn't see anything there was no sign of life or miles anywhere around but it was lovely so look you see so now Beautiful. you've got this gorgeous paper doesn't that look like um a, a galaxy far far away it does away? look like a galaxy far far away yeah Ooh. My home planet. Fantastic. My home planet. <laughs> planet craft. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? And that's so, can you see how that just transforms that? And that's it. So those sprays, that's the simplest way to use them. Spray them, you paint them on, all that, all that. That's, that's it. And this, the other one, just the same. Absolutely love that. Um, if you want those sprays, by the way, they are in the Colony Happy Anniversary Mystery Bag. I'll show you again just everything you're going to get because... Um, the value in here is incredible and remember all of the the deals as far as I'm aware and tonight You know, you know, what we're like now. I, I just caveat that because you know what we're like we go oh, all the deals disappear Then you come back the next morning. It's like I thought I thought that I got what that I did. So don't take any chances, but within the mystery bag itself you will get your two Bella Luna spray so you've got your um, white silver and then also your gold that you will get your gold um, the duo colours. So, do you know what? If you've loved what you've seen on this show, you're going to be wanting to grab the bag because you can then recreate what uh, Sheen has been doing. The blending solution you will need to um, get separately. That is on the three for two on the website, which again, supposedly ends midnight tonight. You've also got in here, and I know we've got a question on these, which we're going to talk about when we get over to Essentials Corner shortly, um, the uh, metallic pencils. So those are included. That's the value of the bag right there. Those three items is your £32, $40 if you're a platinum member. And then it's like we give you everything else within the bag for free. Um, and it's all handy stuff. This is why it's been so popular. We had hundreds and hundreds of these. We're now down to um, sort of middle and double figures on it because it's a bag that everyone wants because if you're um, a crafter who's been doing it for ages it's all stuff which is consumables which will run out if you're someone who's new it's all stuff that you're going to want to try and you've also got handy tools in here as well like your four pack of misters you've also got in here your um your glitter a glitter paste so that is a 50 mil tub of your regal purple uh we also give you the uh, glitter glue this one oh don't try and read it ben is the hmm thank you glittering oceans which was from the mermaid collection so um good to stock up on that and then we give you three more uh, ink pads the metallic pigment ink pad in the bronze we also are going to give you your quick dry in your ocean blue and we are going to give you one of our original um, shimmer ink pads with the silver shimmer, which is the star lit sky. You, you will agree with me that everything that you've seen there for that price on the screen is a really, really incredible buy. Um, and also just to mention, if you do like that glitter glue that you just saw there, uh, that is obviously from the trends collection from the mermaid. We have the third product from that range coming up tomorrow as our launch with Debbie Fisher who is back uh, it is the um, tropical collection which I think you're going to absolutely blooming love right we're going to take a short break when we come back we are going to start to answer all of your questions there have been many that have come in but remember last chance saloon to get your free gift last chance saloon for the three for two last chance for loon, for loon. last chance balloon for the stamp sale and last chance balloon for the i don't know for the uh, 10 pound thursday as well uh, it all ends at midnight tonight we'll catch you over on the sofas in just a few moments time in the meantime you check out your baskets and we are going to find out more about debbie robinson Day to day looks like on a normal day when I'm working from home, um, get up, breakfast, um, quick phone call with my daughter, and then I'm up in the craft room and I spend all my time in the craft room. If it's spending a day with the grandkids, it's that's it. That's my best part of the day, just spending time with family and those gorgeous little grandkids of mine. The best part of the day when I'm at work is when I go on air because I absolutely love it. Both. I prefer a shower in the morning. I feel fresher. I feel that I can tackle my day. However, 
depending on how that day's been, I also would have a double shower, so I'd have one in the morning and one at night too. Absolutely, 100% coffee will always be coffee. And flavoured coffee is my favourite at the moment. Dare I say it, a full English breakfast. The full works, the beans, the tomatoes, the bacon, the sausage, and everything else that goes with a traditional English breakfast. Craft along every day of the week. Um, I absolutely love going through the stages from the start of a project to the end of a project. So craft along is definitely my favorite choice. <laughs> I can't leave without my lipstick. <laughs> It's a, it's a given thing. I once didn't have a lipstick on me and Leanne helped me out that day. Kick off the shoes, sit down for a couple of minutes, just gather thoughts and then grab my tea. Come in, check my emails, then lay this yours out in the studio, set pack shots up. Then I will get new Paul, pick shows, solve any problems that need solving. Um, we deal with other teams where we receive marketing suites, we receive boards. We pick samples to send to Hobby Maker, we pick samples to send to QB. We will take the previous shows out of the studios, set the new shows up. We do floor manage occasionally, not all the time, making sure that the craft expert presenters have everything at hand that they need, anything that they haven't got during shows, we will run about and get the products for them. Think on a morning when it's really quiet, get more done when there's nobody else in the building. Night Owl. Coffee on a morning. Tea the rest of the day. Savoury. Normally lunchtime. Craft along. Mobile phone. Christina's chicken rock. Barry White, you're my first, my last, my everything. Go home and make the tea. Welcome to Inspire. The Crafters Companion Community, where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Well, thank you so much, everybody. I tell you what, all the questions that have come in, I could have gone to the printer and printed them all out. There's so, <sighs> so many of them. Oh um, no! Is yeah. it like a test? It, it, well, there's there's tons, tons of them. Um, we've got 20 minutes. It's fine. Um, thank you as well for those of you that have just said you're going to be getting that mystery bag. Uh, Jeanette says I finally checked out. I was waiting for Sheena's demos to make my decisions um, and just have my mystery colour me happy bag. Says Dawn. So neat because uh, I wanted to try those pencils. We are in Essentials Corner on a Thursday. I know, we, uh, we've got loads of questions coming through. So let's do them. Uh, Hillary, Hillary has, me has messaged. Um, yes. Hillary and Holly the Collie. 
Um, this is Hillary's question, not Holly's. I don't think it's Holly's, anyway. Um, yes, Holly's would be woof, 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 woof. But Hillary says, I have a question. Which ink pads are best for heat embossing? Heat embossing um, would be the... Um, pigment. The pigment, yeah, mm. the pigment. Pigment, great. Pigment, I'm loving the pigment. Many reasons. Yeah, first the pigment, so they're not going to fade as quickly. Um, slow drying, so that you can emboss with them. And they're opaque, so you can layer with them. Yeah, they're, they're fab. I like them. Um, the paler ones are good if you want a, a paler line for stamping as well. Loving the pigments. Um, pigments. Next question from... Oh, there's a, there are loads of questions. Oh, no, now I've lost the questions because my tablet's just having a bit of a moment. One second, please, Corda. Please hold the line. Oh, is that green sleeves they're doing? They always play green sleeves. I know, don't they? Oh, mm. yeah. Uh, Madge says, can you use... Glycerin with all ink pads? Uh, everyone I've used, pretty much, yes. Um, solvent based, no. Not right. like, um, like a, a, yeah, like a, like a, like a, you know, the, the stays on type ones and um, uh, those type of ones. Um, oil based stays, uh, water based, yes. However, those ones I just tried before messed with me head. Yeah. Cool, Colour Bloom didn't seem to like um, play nice with them. What's going on, Leanne? I'll have a word with Zig. Zig? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, because you're Zig and Zag. Yeah. I didn't realise she was Zig and you're Zag. Yeah. Ah, oh, okay. I need to have a word with her. Yeah, yeah. I have to say, what's she didn't going give on, us Zig, a heads like, up man? On that one. Yeah, yeah, man, Zig. Yeah. How are we, man, Zig? How are we, man, Zig? What are you doing, like? Yeah, messed with me head, that did. But all the other ones, yeah. As long as I'm water based. Mm. Stephanie Fieros. Sheena, uh, do you put sticky spray on your stencils? So what are our options with stencils when we're putting them mm. down? Stick and spray is an option. Mm. Or just little the uh, repositionable tape, for sure. Um, it depends what you're going to... If you don't want... Um, stick and spray is good if you don't want something to like leach underneath. It can kind of help prevent that, you know, like the paint to get underneath a bit. Mm. Um, or the tape, just anything. If you just want to do that little bit of anchoring with the tape, either way. Sometimes, like up the earlier, I didn't want stick and spray on the stencil because I didn't want the embossing powder yeah. to stick to the background. And it would if there was a little bit of stick and spray left on the um, on the card. A little bit of the adhesive might have been left behind on the card and it would have definitely stuck when I put the embossing powder on. So that wasn't a good choice at that point. Okay. And also, just to reiterate, because I know someone asked it earlier, when it comes to stencils and cleaning them what's the best way to clean stencils? if it's got stick and spray on it and um you know if you're going to use the you see the thing is with stick and spray you know with stencils are reversible aren't they you can use them either way if you've got stick and spray on you would have to clean it off every time if you're going to do them like that and you'd need stick away on that you need to buy the stick away because you can't get that sticky stuff off your stencils easily you need mm. stick away um if you're using them that way, you don't even need to take stick and spray off every time because it builds up. So the next time you use it, just a tight, really brief spray and it'll work just as well. You know, so you can actually let it build up then. Yeah. Um, so that's a benefit, but it can also be a disadvantage if you want to flip your stencil over and use it the mirror side. Mm -hmm. So it's your call. Yeah. Stephanie, this is a great question. Thank you for this, Stephanie. Says Sheena, when you pick colours to use in a background, uh -huh. is there a formula for the number of ink pads you will generally use, like even yeah. or odd number? Yeah, yeah, like too many. Mm. Yeah, too many, sometimes too many. I think, um, you know, but I usually go maximum five. Five, five, if you go more than five, it's too, it's too much on a, on a small size surface. Yeah. Um, you know, more than three, no mm. more than five. Somewhere between there, I would say. Okay. For sure. I think when I've seen, like, certainly you and the other, the other experts, it's no, it's normally like three, isn't it? Seems to be the more often than not, like three. Yeah. Three, to, three to five yeah. is usually yeah. It's max. Is, is this about it? Um, another question from Stephanie says, Sheena, is it best to always start with your lightest ink pads when doing a background or project, or doesn't it really matter? It's always best in my book to start with the lightest, and I'll tell you why because you've established that light, you've kind of ring-fenced that light area because it's really easy to get carried away and, um, and 
lose any area for that light colour to go mm. onto because light will never trump a dark colour. You can't put the light back because most of most ink pads are translucent. And um and even the ones that are more opaque, um, the light colour will still not sit on top of a dark colour. You'll not get that vibrancy back. Mm. So put the light colour down and usually I make it bigger than I want it to be because you've got that edge where you're going to transition the other colour into the light colour. Does that make sense? Yeah. So make that light colour even larger than it's going to end up so that you've got that um, little um, border blend area where the next colour is going to just, you know, overlap a bit. So yeah, I always start with the lighter colour. Um, thank you, Sheena, says Stephanie. You are welcome. Welcome. You're welcome. Uh, still chance to get your question in. If you think, oh, I've missed out. You haven't. We've got what, another, what, 12 minutes or so. So do ask if you've got a question whilst we're here. Um, Cindy says, question for Sheena. How best to splatter? This is a great question. Yeah, I like uh, it. Mine goes everywhere, but on my project. So she says, how much water to add before splattering? How to aim it? Have you got any <laughs> tips? Says yeah, Cindy. I do. Um, it was a really funny story because I went, you know, went to New Jersey New to Jersey. a particular um, very, very, very famous ink and um, uh, pad company. If you think of an ink pad company, it's that one, mm. right? With a famous, very famous person oh, yes. to promote it. Yes. And um, we spent ages learning to um, drop water onto a, a, a background with a flourish, with a... <laughs> Like this, like blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and I thought, what? And I thought, what? Well, you know, and 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 it was really funny. But what I find is to um, an easier way to control the water is to mm. do it from a brush. Oh, uh, okay. With a paintbrush. So a larger paintbrush usually holds more water. So if you want bigger drops of water, have a larger paintbrush, and have it more loaded with water. Yeah. And then tap it. Tap it. Tap the brush, or tap the hand, or tap mm. it, tap the brush. If you want smaller drops, even the larger paintbrush, just tap some of the water off it and tap it like that, and you get less, um, and you've got more control. Yeah. Smaller paintbrush, less water, and tap it harder, and you get little littler droplets. Mm. That's you're gonna have far more control like that. Yeah. If you drop it off your fingers, you get much more water, and it's more random, and it ends up, you know, uh, very random. Sometimes that's what you want. That's a look that. You know, like I did today. Yeah. I wanted that really the runs and the random look. Mm. But if you want a bit more control, use a brush. Okay. And it, and it's is, it, is that when you that when you're yeah, tapping when it you on your finger like that? that? Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. That's it. Um, great questions, these. So Jamie Ennis says, Thank you for your question, Jamie. Um, with my metallic pens, do they go over black or white cardstock? Metallic either. Metallic pens will show up on either. Yeah. But they really do look good on um, black. Metallic looks great on black. Mm. Like you say, you get. I always think that um, you know, particularly with the um, the watercolor palettes that we do, the shimmer watercolor palettes, they do look nice on your white cards. But I feel like you get more, um, you do get more um, dramatic effects on like darker cards. They do. You? They look really. They really pop on black. Yeah. yeah. You really see the shine and the drama on the black for sure. Um, Kendall says, Sheena, how do you store the acrylic paint that you were using in the first show? The, um, the paint the markers, paint markers yeah. flat, sew them flat um, and uh, make sure the lids are on really tightly. And I say that all the time, any acrylic, pa any acrylic paint or medium you're using, it could be in a jar, it could be like the, you know, the, the, um, the glitter piece, it could be um, a modelling piece, it could be anything that is acrylic based. Make sure the lids are on really, really tight, guys, because um, air is the enemy of a, any acrylic paint. Because once air gets to it, you can't reconstitute it. You can't add water to it and make bring it back to life mm. because it then becomes plastic. It's it's like a plastic base. It it, it you can't you can't um, fix it. So um, acrylic artists often um, store their paints in um, plastic airtight containers. Mm -hmm. So just make sure the lids are on tight and store them flat because um, it needs to be shaken. And also um, you may need to do that little, activate the pump with the valve in the nib again yeah. to get it going as you saw me do. So give them a good shake before you start and just squidge the pump if they've gone a bit dry again. Um, again, because the paint might have dried up on the nib, but get that going again and, and that's it, it's good to go. 
Um, Kendall asks, so she says, Sheena, which pencils do you recommend new? Uh, the ones you were using, so that was the duo colours. Uh -huh. uh, she says, do you recommend those or the aqua pencils? And what is the difference between those two sets of pencils? Okay, so the um, those little duo ones, they're yeah. the first ones I've used today, but the colour blend and the aqua blend are the ones that are the kind of like the... Um, I think they're the, the, the prime quality in yeah, the spectrum yeah. range. So they're the ones that I would go for if you're serious about learning to colour with the pencils. Mm. And they're always on great offers. Yeah, Keep oh, watching yeah. the shows. Yeah. They're always on fab offers. Um, and if they're not on an offer, you know, start with the, like the primary sets or something like that. You know, get one that, that is, is the primary set. And, um, yeah, they're really good. And, and if you're not sure whether you want to start with a, a wax base or a or a... Uh, a water base and color blend is the wax base color right? blend is the wax based one yeah. which where you would need if you want to um you could use the blending solution with them which yeah. is the orderless thinners is basically what it is um you would need the paper stumps and the and that thinner to blend the wax you don't have to have that because you know um wax um or pencil artists don't always use that they'll burnish with other other ways they'll, they'll yeah. actually build up the pencil it's a slower process it's a much slower coloring process than using an aqua uh watercolor based pencil um and that's the benefit of a water aqua blend pencil is yeah. that you can just scribble a little bit of that it's kind of the aqua blend pencils it's kind of like taking the stuff in a watercolor palette and squashing it in the middle of a pencil mm. That's what that's like. And then colouring it in a bit, putting a bit on a bit of pencil and then using a brush to spread it out instead of picking it up in a, on a brush from the pan. It's a similar, that's the easiest way I can describe it. Um, so whichever, if you like water-based colouring, it makes it so much easier because like I say, if I was colouring in a leaf, I can just take a dark green, scribble it at the base of the leaf where mm. there'd be less light and then take my brush and drag Draw that out. colour out to the top of the leaf. And it, I've already got that shading from the darkest to the lightest on that with one colour. Lynn Morton says, question for Sheena, which cardstock would I use for colour blend pencils? Um, colour blend, um, I like, I love craft card. Craft card's a great one. Mm. Not the Nina craft card, that's smoother. Get the regular craft card. That's the thicker stuff, the more toothy stuff. Um, and also watercolour, I like watercolour. Excellent stuff. Uh, thank you, Stephanie, by the way, just messaged to say the chat is fabulous. So glad I've saved the show. Uh, thank you, Ben, for getting our questions answered by expert Sheena. That's what I'm here for. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll be re-watching for sure. My head is so full of tips. Um, I get them mixed up. We're going to squeeze some more questions in before we disappear. Uh, Amelie says, uh, does anyone know, Sheena, do you know what would happen if you, you were to use these shimmer sprays with glycerin? Um, no advantage. No. Nah. Computer says no. Nah. <laughs> yeah. Because um, there wouldn't be a, a scenario, I would say, that, that you would use the two together. Because mm. with glycerin, you would pretty much use it to help blend. And the shimmer sprays, really, the solution is just a... Um, is just a well, it is that. It's a solution, a, a substance to hold... The glittery stuff yeah in order to to um have it suspended until it goes out of the spray to cover a background um so the glycerin wouldn't come into play glycerin mm. is something that you would use to help an ink blend to thicken an ink to blend across the surface so yeah. you wouldn't really be blending the glittery stuff across the surface in that fashion so you wouldn't be mixing the two. I don't think that would be a, a, a case where those two would come together effectively. Three questions left. One crafting, um, two non-crafting. Um, Sheena says, Stephanie, I see you use the sponge applicators all the time. Yeah. Do you prefer them over the brush applicators? And if so, is there a why? Um, you know what? I've always used them. It's what you get used to. Um, it's whatever you prefer. Um, for me, I've just, it's, it's, I started with them. In fact, I didn't, I started to remember back in the day, there used to be just a, a, a bit of um, a, a thing you cut up and it was a dense bit of sponge. Yeah. And then it had that kind of sponge on it. Okay. And you'd cut them up into squares. Yeah. And you'd use them like that. And they were really tricky to use, but that's what I learned to use. And then those came out, which were much easier to use. And that's what I've always used. But I do find them, um, 
I just do, I find I can control mm. them really well. And for different techniques, I can um, I get into little nooks and crannies and and um, and stencil yeah. with them. I can Debbie Robinson uses effects. those ones a lot as well. The, yeah. The sponge ones. But yes, I, I think, I like you say, it depends. Um, I do. Horses for courses, whatever you've got, yeah. got used to, I guess, isn't it really? But yeah. it's nice that we've got a selection yeah. of different ways. The sponges are nice. And I think for larger areas, mm. people like them because they can get a, a diffused area. But I can also kind of stencil into smaller areas with them, Ben, and mm. I can um, use them on the edge and things. For me, I, I find them more versatile. Okay. Um, Evelyn Kiefer, see, we asked for any questions. I have never owned an air fryer, but uh -huh. I'm thinking about getting one. Yeah. Does Sheena have any recommendations? Yes, get the dual, the dual one. Um, is it, um, yeah, I can't remember what me, but it's the dual one. It's the, it's the really dead popular one. Two you, draw. you couldn't get them. The Ninja, that's the one, thank you. Oh, I didn't say Ninja, I said two draw, but, it's oh, sorry. It's the Ninja, um, really, right. yeah, the producer. That's the one, thank you, Nicola. Thank you, Nicola. And I got the XL one. We got the regular one. The X-ray one? The XL. Oh, yeah. XL. We got the regular one, and then we used it that much that we... The, seriously, the cook has been on, like, twice or something in two years, if that. We literally... We use it so much, so mm. much. You don't have to preheat the oven. Yeah. You don't have to... It's literally... If you work, as well, you come in and you literally put... Your things in yeah. that, your things in that, and, Off and you everything go. cooks so well. Chicken, a full chicken. Yeah. And all you've got to do is you turn it over halfway. Yeah. And a full chicken is so and, cooked. And so you well. could go cook me chicken, but then yeah. also at the same time cook me potatoes, and it yeah, would it yeah, would work it all out for you. Potatoes or your vegetables or anything. Yeah, left on one side. It's brilliant, Ben. The the dual draw one is a game changer. There you go, Evelyn. Um, and the final question, because we're nearly out of time, actually. Uh, Hillary says that her she's got a, co a collie called Holly. And Holly, she, Holly. Yeah, Holly, Holly's Holly. Got, Holly. Holly's got a question, the yeah. collie. Uh, is Willow having a nice holiday, Holly she wants to know. She is loving it. She is <laughs> absolutely loving it. Yeah, she's just every... But she just thinks any time of the day is playing with the... With the with the oh, tennis yeah. ball time. Yeah. It's like, no, it's dark out there, Willow. Yeah. It's like, yeah. It's the middle of the night, Willow. Oh, yeah, middle of the night, Willow. Yeah. But she's loving it, yeah. Aww. Yeah, she's absolutely having the best time. That's what will happen to me, see. When I go home now, I'm kind of like getting ready to relax mode, have me tea yeah. and drink whatever. But Molly, Molly Collie, she'll be there yeah. and she just piles balls and yeah. toys and yeah, cuddlies yeah, on me like, yeah. come on, I want to play, I want to play. Like, I don't want to play. I'm relax. tired. Um, what a show, what a day. Thank you, everyone, for all the questions. Uh, massive thank you to you, Sheena as always um remind me because i get ever so confused you're back on i'm on the 20, 29th which is a monday 29th yeah it's monday with a new a new release oh, yeah look forward to that really cool well enjoy the rest of your um your break and Thank we'll see you. you then yeah back in the van um Back in the van. Uh, <laughs> I will be back with you tomorrow. Um, the fish is back in once again. We've got a brand new launch tomorrow, so that's going to be incredible. Um, so we look forward to that. It's kind of like a, a, a double launch, if you like, live at one and five. You know what it is. Uh, make sure you're checking the web. I would say around about 11-ish, something like that, will probably be going live. Um, and also, don't forget, today is the last day of our Colony Happy Anniversary. So it's Last Chance Saloon to pick up all of the deals. Last Chance to get your free gift as well. So if you have been thinking of buying, make sure you do it tonight uh, that uh, set of three pens is your free gift but only if you shop before midnight wherever you are and of course all the three for twos on spectrum noir and that stamp sale too and of course 10 pound 10 dollar thursday will come to an end at midnight uh, so shop away thanks so much everybody thank you to all of the team a massive thank you to sheena as always and i will see you tomorrow back here on crafters tv for what is going to be a brilliant launch day until then see ya <laughs>